Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the stock of Beyond Meat. And if you are looking at this press release, you will see that the headline itself is saying that this stock has already jumped 16% after Jim Cramer says that the stock could be the next target for Reddit traders. Now, <laughs> actually, I don't know about how this works, but uh, whenever this term games nowadays you know everybody get skeptical and fearful because you know even the big uh, funds uh, will be in danger if they started buying now if you go through the press release uh, so this is uh, uh, this stock could be a new target for a uh, reddit state trader on cnbc's mad monday and uh, this is because its high short interest rate could draw in the reddit crowd as it did in the past with uh, these stocks other stocks now if you know about this company i don't want to talk much about whether uh, redditors will you know hit on this or not but uh, uh, if you if you are looking at this company and what this company is doing so you can see this is a burger making company now when you're talking about this company or companies which is related to uh, you know food entertainment and all these things are definitely uh, going to be in fake focus the simple reason beyond or uh, behind this is because the opening trade is opening up okay so the opening trade is completely working and when you're talking about food and all those things obviously if uh, i mean these kind of uh, products are uh, you can get home delivery also but at the same time when you have public go out and started purchasing like in normal days so it will definitely have some positive demand so that's what i understand uh, you know from this stock and uh, from these kind of concepts now as far <laughs> If, if if there is any short interest which is uh, building up and if it attracts those traders so uh, that I don't know how, how it will work out but what I do understand is about the trend and how it's been moving over a period of time so if you if you just focus on the chart and the price action and the way the stock is particularly moving so it is completely range bound for the time being right so as you can see here, you have uh, two important uh, support levels on the downside. You have $137 as your initial or immediate support and your final support will be at $101 on the downside. Now going on the upside, you have your first target at $199. You have $223 and the big target that we are looking at will be $244. But if it in if indeed the stock uh, sustain above 245 dollars after the breakout then there will be a big spike that will push the price further on the upside okay and how much percentage uh, so for that what we can do we can simply calculate at least the lower end to the higher end of the range so if it indeed is a breakout it could push the price towards um, uh, yeah nearly 600 or 700 dollars so that's what uh, we are looking at and we are not going beyond 244 dollars because of the data but if there is a breakout beyond 245 then there will be a big spike but let's see how things will work out and we will reanalyze the trend. So this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.